Hello again. In this video, we will try to apply a, another sample from a picture and do it in Microsoft Word. Uh, for this sample, we have this picture, and I will try to do it exactly in Microsoft Word. But first, I will apply the border, uh, double line uh, red at top and bottom, and the three line blue at left and right. I have also a page color. I will add the page color, and I have word sample as header and I have also this design as a footer so first step I will go to uh, design I will add page color also I will add page border double line with color red at at top and bottom and three line and color blue at left and right and I will click OK now I will add a header at the top I have uh, to uh, this style I will type here word sample I will click close I will add the footer I will search for this uh, for the style and once I add the footer I will click on close header and footer also in the picture I have a page number at the left margin so I will go to here insert page number uh, page margin and I will choose at left margin now I will start with the title for the title it is aligned centered uh, I have a text effect word sample I will increase the size to 18 uh, also I can notice that the title has a reflection effect so I will go to text effect reflection and I will add a reflection after the paragraph I will add title I will clear on clear formatting now I have paragraph then table and after that another paragraph so I will add directly two paragraphs. I will generate two paragraphs by using equal rand of two. The two paragraphs are align justify. So I align both paragraph as justify. And for the second paragraph, I have a line spacing in between lines. So here I will add align justify. And here I will put 1.5 as line spacing uh, also for the first paragraph I have a shape uh, inside the paragraph so I will go to here insert shape I will search for the shape I will draw it I will type inside it word sample now I will ch choose it to square and I can use drag and drop to to matching the shape now I added the shape in the first paragraph similar to this now also for the first paragraph uh, you can notice that I have uh, provides as bold have to put a bold and red keyword to search online uh, highlighted and bold video is bold and italic paste uh, as bold and single underline so I will go first to here provides it is bold also I have help to prove your point is bold and red uh, we have here video is bold and uh, italic so bold and italic uh, paste we have it bold as and underline and finally keyword to search keyword to search online we have it as bold and highlighted in yellow now I did uh, the first uh, now I did the first uh, paragraph also I for the first paragraph the still missing is uh, uh, vi video 
for video I have a drop cap so I will uh, do it I will select the V insert from here drop cap I will choose dropped now I finish the first paragraph after the first paragraph I before continue with the second paragraph here I have a table I need to do the table for the first I need to know how many columns and how many rows I have uh, four columns and three rows so from here insert table four columns and three rows I will increase a little bit the size uh, now uh, I will continue uh, with the table uh, for the table I have first schedule uh, I merge the four cells and I adding a, sh a shading for the for the first with pattern for the first row also I applied a customized border top and bottom same style left and right same style so let's try to do it I will merge first step I will go here to lay out I will merge the cells I will align uh, center and middle I will go to design border and shading I will choose for the to apply here to apply to cell I will choose the style to be applied at uh, I will choose first custom border this style will be applied at top and bottom double wave will be applied at left and right also I will add a shading I will add color shading I will add the pattern for example this pattern uh, Yes, I will add this button. Uh, okay, I will click OK. I will type now, type the word schedule. I can increase the size. Now, here I need also to merge, as in the picture, to merge, add spring uh, from for, for four sides, the same style of border. So again, I will go to here. I will merge these two cells. I will uh, make the alignment middle and center. I will add the spring. I will make it bold. I will rotate the text. Also, I will go to design, border and shading, apply to cell. I need box for for both for side same style. Apply to cell. Uh, also in shading, I will choose a solid color yellow. I will click on OK. Now I applied uh, these cells. Now to continue, I have to merge here word exam, word exam, uh, and uh, for uh, I can notice that here I have. The same style of border, red, double wave thread, and for bottom and right, the same style. So we can do it directly. I will merge here the cells from layout, merge cells. Now I will go to here, uh, mark these cells from design, border, and shading. I will choose to apply uh, this style at bottom and right, and double waved color red for the cells in between. I will click on OK. Now, finally, I need only to type the text. I have revision Monday, March 2, 22, 2021. Uh, align top and center. Uh, sample exam and word exam. Align uh, bottom and center. So I will type uh, this. I have here for this says the alignment is top center. I have here revision Monday. March uh, 22 also to be a sample exam and here I align it for these two cells are bottom center so here I will have revision uh, sample exam and finally for this table I have here word exam so now I did the table, the first paragraph I did it, I did it the second uh, the table, now I will start with the third, uh, para second paragraph, for the second paragraph it is divided on in two columns between and line between these two columns, uh, shading yellow and uh, double red border, so first uh, I will start first with this, I will select the second paragraph, 
from here uh, layout I will choose more columns uh, left because I have uh, the design left I will add the line between and okay now I will go to, to home uh, border and shading for border and shading I will choose double border uh, with the color and for shading I will choose the shading color and I will click apply now I apply the border and the shading in addition to the split onto two paragraph two columns uh, for example we have it uh, as uh, a double strike issue so I will select for example bold and from here more options I will check double strike through and the last statement from click to galleries I have it as a strike through so bold and I will click here on strike through so now uh, for now I did uh, the second paragraph uh, let's continue I will do the uh, le level I have a multi-level list so let's uh, do it the multi-level list I have um, inside it multi-level sub list I have item one item two item three and the sub list for item Y uh, item one I have blue and red for item two I have yellow and green and for item C and have I have white so uh, I will go to here I will add a multi-level list I will choose the design here multi level list uh, after I click enter I use increase and then to go to sub list I will add item one increase again to add blue red now I will go to add item two so I will uh, click on decrease indent I will add item two below item two I will go to sub list to add yellow and green now I need to add item C so I again I use decrease indent I will add item 3 and below item 3 I will go inside to sub list to add white color now for the multi level list uh, I have the one is bold and red also multi level list is bold for uh, 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 are bold and italic and for 1.1.1, 1.1.2 1 .1 and the same sub list I have them as uh, underlined so I will add underline so now I did the multi-level now I will add this word art as good luck uh, with, uh, with this shape so I will go to here insert uh, word art now i will add good luck after adding good luck from here i can choose the style i need i will use this button to rotate it and to move it to put it where i need so now i added the word art finally in this uh, sample we have to add a link to go to YouTube so uh, to, to do it I will click after the list now I will add link to YouTube I will make it bold now from insert link I will add here the website of YouTube once I add I will click on ok now I added the link in this in this I finished my work I applied this picture and do it exactly in Microsoft Word thank you